social media side, um, obviously you get people commenting on everything from yeah. your looks to that. And, yeah, yeah. and we, a lot of us here Did you take it that. in? That was one thing that mm. I kind of felt like I almost had to accept because I'd signed that contract. Sure. But mm. then there were, th I had a stalker at one point who um, mm. threatened to kill me and would post photos of knives, like big oh knives and things like that. And at the time, because this is going back sort of four or five years ago, even the police didn't know what to do with it. I think yeah. it's probably quite different now because... Do you really think it is now? I think it's better now. There really? are perhaps they even laws and they're, they're more... Mm. But I remember at the time, and um, I was lucky that Channel 4 and NBC were brilliant and they did help me with it, but no one really knew what to do because it was so early on. Yeah. You know, Maiden Chelsea and Towie infancy. kind of... We, we started, even we didn't know what we were doing, the producers didn't know, it was a very new genre. Yeah, yeah. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about, which I found really hard, was yeah. that um, it wasn't just the social media, like I had Newspapers. certain cast members that I worked with, and I don't think now this would happen, but five years ago it did. Yeah, yeah. I remember filming one day and there was an argument, as it always happens, and it's all drummed up, and one of the cast members called me a fat cow. Male or female? A girl. Yep. Oh, and it was obviously upsetting when it happened, um, because it was a nasty... Just before you went live or during no, on live? Yeah, she know. said, you know, you're just a... Okay, and it was, for, it was for effect or you knew it was for real? Her, I did, she said it because that's how yeah. she felt and she felt just came that up. Uh, she wanted to call me that. She knew that would hurt um, you. <laughs> and the producers made a decision to air that. Now, I think nowadays they probably yeah. wouldn't. Yeah. Because I then, obviously I went through that happening as it happened. I then had to wait six mm. weeks for it to be aired. Mm. And then having to deal with you know, hundreds and thousands of people um, laughing about that and calling me that. And I've even said since then, I've, I've been even this year on Instagram, um, a cable network have said, oh, look at these are the biggest put downs on reality TV. And, and they made it into a, into a sport. Yeah, right? yeah. and yeah. how funny that she got, and I just think, you know, I obviously I'm over that and I, I'm, mm. I'm fine about but that. But are, are you, are you over it? With, yeah, I've yeah. dealt with that and I, I look back on that as a very different part of my life. But the fact that people still bring that up and they, yeah. and that they would feature someone being bullied on TV. Because it's a, it's, it's the producer there has gone, <laughs> is a bully. Mm. basically yeah. and they've well, gone how can we make a tv show that's going to get airtime and people talking by being mean about somebody else yeah. which is so mm. effed up 